Listening? Okay. <laughs> Basically, I oh, hear's what I think about Mega Man Zero. It changes the Mega Man formula so fucking much that it doesn't even feel like I'm playing Mega Man the Classic. Mega Man series displayed a pretty much perfect gameplay style for the Mega Man franchise. Mega Man X soon followed after by keeping it basically the same but changes some things, kind of for the worse. Granted, X is more mobile than classic, but starting the game with 16 HP instead of 28 is a major disadvantage as well as only being able to max out your HP to 30 to by the end of the game. The X series made it so that if rage can be found before you even touch a single boss, which makes the game very nonlinear and very welcome. However, Zero changes the way much. Robot Master or Maverick weapons have been removed completely. Now you need to play the game perfectly to even get a special mode for Zero. The ranking system in this tool and 3 makes it so that you have to be an S rank in order to get special moves for Zero, which is nowhere close to easy. Unlike classic Mega Man where grinding was the super huge issue in 7, 9, 10, and 11, Mega Man Zero has a very annoying grinding mechanic and again that drops something called the crystals. The crystals are needed to upgrade something the game introduces called Cyber Health and these things are fucking stupid. I hate them so much. You need to grind thousands of these damn crystals in order to get a full health bar. And even then, especially in Z1, you need thousands more crystals to get items that can refill your HP. And I should also mention that Z1 and Z requires you to spam your weapons on what is essentially a test dummy to be able to swing your Z Saber more than one time or to charge your Z Buster. Also, the Z Buster is basically useless, because its damage output is nothing compared to the Z Saber. I could say more, but I'd be typing for another few minutes, so I'll leave it at this. Woo!